Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how to replace column value in SSIS. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how we can replace a column value in SSIS. So recently I got a question from one of my subscriber, John Weasley, and he asked that I need to truncate plus character from a string and could you please help me. For example, plus premium should be converted to the premium. So there is a functionality in SSIS that we can replace a particular value with another value using the derived column transformation. So let's jump to the demo. I got a customer.csv file in dfiles location and if I show you the data in this particular file, so let me open the data for you. So it contains person's ID, first name, last name, e email and the file name. Okay. So if you see that we got a file name field here and the extension of the file is different like for example sometimes it is .txt .doc .ppt, okay and similarly we got the email field and the extension of the email is like .com .edu .com .uk .org, something like this so what i want is that i want to replace .txt with .csv okay and i want to replace dot com with dot in okay so this is kind of thing that i want to do so in a particular column you can replace any existing value with a new value okay so let's see how we can do that so let me close this particular file and this is my blank exercise package that i will be using today because we are going to migrate the data so we will be using the data flow task i have just drag and drop the data flow task into the control flow window and then i can configure the data flow task because we are going to read the data from a CSV file, so we will be using the flat file source for this. So let me configure the flat file source, make a connection to the flat file and I will call the flat file connection manager as flat file and I can browse the file. File type is CSV, so I can select CSV from here and then I, this is the file customer.csv. I can click open. If you preview the data, so here data seems good, we got ID, first name, last name, email and file name column so data seems good here I can click ok ok now because we want to replace the data so we will be using the derived column transformation so I can just drag and drop the derived column into the data flow and then I can just configure the derived column transformation here because we want to replace the data in two different columns so we need to select the columns under derived column so the first column is the file name so I want to replace the value dot txt with dot csv so on the right side if you see there are some string functions so if you expand the string functions and if you scroll down so there is a function replace so you can just drag and drop the replace function into the expression window and now here in the first character expression you need to just drag and drop the column name in which you want to replace the value so I want to replace the values in file name and now you need to give the older value like which value you want to replace so I want to replace dot txt value and now you need to provide the new value that you want to give to the dot txt so I want to give the dot txt a new value is capital dot csv okay so I want to replace dot txt with the dot csv so this is how you can replace a value in the SSIS now similarly I want to replace in the email column I want to replace dot com with dot in so I can write here let me see what kind of data contains so it contains dot com so I want to replace it with dot in okay so I can type here dot com and I want to replace it with dot in okay for the email so this is the only thing that you need to put and now I can click okay I want to write this data into the SQL server table so let me just drag and drop the OLEDB destination into the data flow task and we can connect the drive column with the OLEDB destination and now I can configure the OLEDB destination here. I need to make a connection to the SQL database. I already have a connection here to the work database so I will use this connection and I can click on OK. Under data access mode I will select table or view fast load and then I can click new to create a new table here. I will call my table as customer and I can click OK. I can check the mappings here so the input columns have been mapped with the destination column so that's good and now I can click OK. So my SSIS package has been configured. Let me execute the SSIS package so that it can import data from a CSV file into the SQL server table and it should replace the data in between. Okay, so the package ran fine and let me go back to the SSMS and let me just refresh the table. So I got a customer table here and let me select the data from this table. Okay, 
and let me also open this particular file in notepad so that we can just check few records here okay so if you see in the first row in the email the dot com should be replaced with the dot in so it seems like something went wrong here and in the email we actually have put the file name okay so something got messed up here and let me go back to the data flow task and check the right column transformation so what actually we did we have put the file name into the email column so that's not correct we need to replace the file name with the email okay so let me just drag and drop email here so now in the file name we are placing the value from the file name and now in the email column we are placing the value from the email column so now i can click ok and i can go back to the ssms and truncate this customer table ok and reinsert the data into the customer table so i can just rerun my ssis package again so the package ran fine and let me just go back and select the data again so now in the file name we got the file name and in the email we got the email and if I compare the data now, so in the first row for the email, the dot com has been replaced with dot in, and even in the third row, the dot com has been replaced with the dot in. And if you check the second row, so the value this dot txt has been replaced with dot csv. And if you check the thirteenth row as well, so in the thirteenth row, the value uh, dot txt has been replaced with dot csv. So I think this is quite simple that you can replace an existing value in a column from a new value in SSIS. You can also use the script component as well to replace the values. But this is my suggestion wherever is possible you should avoid using the script component and if there is an alternate like the drive column so you should use the drive column transformation. Okay. So I think that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button. Do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on also that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.